<laughs> and What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of TNT Genetics. So, I'm going to talk about what I like, what I don't like about these Pet Hog Max. Um, we'll get to the fender issue here. There are 72 volt lithium ion batteries uh, in the back tire over, you know, back in there. And this sucker here, right there. It has a 500 watt motor in it, so they say. Bluetooth controller, so you can fine tune them, um, <clears throat> and they go fast, <laughs> like 50 kilometers an hour, give or take a kilometer or two. Now, um, keyless start. You can use a key or not. It has a remote start to it. Um, I don't like the bloody plastics. Super, super easy to break. As you can see, I broke my fender off. <clears throat> and that's Tipsy's fender. A little bit different. Mine's from a pit bike because mine completely snapped off. Tipsy decided to sit on it. No. <laughs> um, we're out at a buddy's house and he dropped my bike in his trailer. Not his fault, but. He was driving the four-wheeler that had my broken bike in the trailer and it snapped that plastic off. Like the plastic is so fragile. See, that's what Tipsy did. He he was he was a little bit tipsy and uh, he kind of drove into a piece of wood. And uh, back license plate thingy, like you see there, mine is missing because I got a little tipsy and tried to do a wheelie. And I wheelied it right off. <laughs> Other than that, they're pretty good bikes. I don't like the pedal setup. As you can see, the pedal, that pedal's on. That one's missing. They're only put on with a little set screw. So, uh, they kind of just fall off. That one hasn't fallen off because it's uh, Gorilla glued on. I think they could have put a storage unit in the gas tank there. That would have helped for like a pair of gloves, maybe. And the shocks at the front, they could be a little stiffer. Six inch of travel, so they say. But they're kind of soft. Like if you go and jump it, if you do like a, let's say a two foot jump, you're bottoming out guaranteed. No doubts about it. <clears throat> the back shocks are adjustable. Coil over shocks. They have a little thing you can adjust it down there. Mine's mine's high. Tipsy had to adjust his low <clears throat> because he's short and he wanted to touch the ground. And Tipsy the first snowfall wiped out his. That's why he has those cool pro taper dirt bike handlebars. I wipe mine out and I just suck it up because I'm a broke bastard. I don't like the speedometer. Because it says you're doing 32 when you're doing 50 kilometers an hour. But over and all and all, they're decent bikes. Back tires could have a little bit more, more lug nuts on them. Lug nuts. <laughs> My head. <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. But you can do about, I did about 70 kilometers distance on my bike before it actually completely died out now they aren't like lead acid where um, you know you kind of know when your battery is going to die and it kind of gives you a little bit of warning it just kind of slows down once the battery bar starts going on these and the uh, the last battery is flashing at you. Yeah, your bike's only dying about five minutes, and then you just don't go anywhere. You gotta get it towed. 
I have installed handlebar risers on my bike. Brings your handlebars up about an inch, an inch and a hair. <clears throat> my handlebars are kind of bent a little bit. I'll be replacing those maybe come springtime. Um, yeah, they're great bikes. If this bike died today and I had the money to buy a new one, I would buy one of these for sure. Guaranteed. I don't think I would buy another e-bike other than the Pit Hog Max. I highly recommend them. So does that guy that's in there pooping. Professional or not. <laughs> They're decent bikes. Doesn't come with those IMS stickers. Um, had an issue with the back caliper on both of them. Mine <coughs> and Tipsy's. They both see all, uh, seized. One piston would come out and would not go back in. Oh, you bought a new back caliper, they're 24 bucks from Daymax, so it's not bad. It's pretty easy to undo two bolts, your brake line, bleed them once you put a new one on. I bent that by hitting like a tree or something. <laughs> they go through the test, that's for sure. They've been mud, water, they don't stay in water too long, maybe foot of water is the most it's been in for maybe about 10 seconds they do pretty good in mud get a little slick but it's it's fun to throw the mud around with them i blew the hall sensor in mine well that was because 350 pounds on a bloody bike going up super steep hills in like 35 degrees celsius weather and in farmer's fields with hay and straw and I just took a beating and I blew the hall sensor in a sand pit that day. That's how that happened. Had to get the bike towed back and it wasn't tied up tight enough and it just kind of fell. <clears throat> what can you do? Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what you can do. Tick tock. Uh, also make sure you check out hybridseed.com. If you want to know how to spell it, it's H-I-B-R-E-D-S-E-E-D.com. Oh, it's on the back of Titty's bike. Oh, it's not focusing. There you go. Just put a dot .com after, after the D. After the big D. <laughs> Ooh. I weigh about 350 pounds. You guys know I'm not skinny. Tipsy weighs about 600. <laughs> about 600. They get our asses around pretty good. Doesn't yeah, lose great suspension. <laughs> doesn't lose power. Um, it till it dies. <laughs> <laughs> Tipsy's been on the back of mine. I've been on the back of his. Um, so like they handle pretty good with 600 pounds. Buddies to nutties, guys. <laughs> Buddies to nutties. Um, I've towed I've towed about a hundred pounds of dirt behind it in a trailer with flat tires. As soon as you touch the throttle, you were in a freaking wheelie. But hey, it was all good. It was actually a little bit of fun. All in all, I recommend this bike. I give it a out of all the e-bikes I've owned, I've owned like nine or six of them, <laughs> and. <laughs> As you see, I got duct tape on my brand new hand warmers. That was from a wife out hit black ice. What? Hand warmers? Yeah, they're hand warmers. Handlebar mitts. Handlebar mitts, hand warmers, same pile, different pile. I wiped out pretty good I hit black ice. They don't do the greatest on ice. They're pretty slick with those knobby tires. You know, look at those knobs, a.k.a. lug nuts. <laughs> um, thank goodness for these little things. They cover the bolt, so when you wipe out and shit, <clears throat> it doesn't screw up the threads. Both of mine are dented to crap. I have the wipe out history here. <laughs> Tipsy as lucky. I keep... Most of mine are fucking accidents when you're running <laughs> But all in all, <clears throat> yeah, I recommend this bike. You guys need to go out and buy one right now. You won't be disappointed. So TNT sent you. TNT, yeah. Uh, Adventures. 
They also got a new line of, of Daymax stuff. The link will be in the description. If you buy something from that, I can I can earn a new bike if I sell like a thousand million bikes or I don't know. Yeah. Avion, that's it, Avion. Something like that. But yeah, I tried running without buying a new fender and it sprays mud like no tomorrow. His light's a little bit cleaner. Oh yeah, because I wiped it off. I wrote something bad on it. <laughs> Bad if he got pulled over, anyway, <laughs> by the wrong people. <laughs> the speedometer could be better because no matter how fast you're doing, it says you're doing 32 kilometers an hour, but you're doing 50. I think I already covered that part. So now I'm just talking. Oh, I'm tripping. They need a little bit of a bath, but they don't like water too much. Getting sprayed up the yin yang. So, uh, guys, <laughs> that's going to be it for that video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed if not give me a thumbs down because I love seeing the haters and I love the thumbs down It turns me on ah! Oh, yeah Make sure you guys stay tipsy stay tripping and stay doing what you love hell yeah cheers y'all ah!